Hello everyone! This video is introduction to E and T representations. We'll say more about E and T representations in the video where I introduce rotation and reflection matrices, so you can check out next video if you want to find out more. But this video, as I said, is an introduction. So let's start with E representation. So let's imagine some D4H complex. By convention, the main axis here, C4, aligns with the Z axis. And let's look at the complex from above. Let's draw some P orbitals on the central atom. And please notice that when we do C4 rotation, Px becomes Py and Py becomes minus Px. So we have two entities interconverting. And in such cases, these entities will be in brackets and will be described by E, W degenerate irreducible representation. The generate representations appear in groups where there are Cn or Sn with n equals 3 or higher. So let's look at C4V group. Let's see if we can recreate the E representation by creating the appropriate matrices. I could use D4H, uh, yes, but D4H has too many symmetry operations and for the sake of time I'm going to do C4V. Uh, you can practice on D4H uh, if you want to. So again, uh, let's take some C4V species. Let's look at it from above. Here are the P orbitals on the central atom and we know how they interconvert under C4 one. The question is how to write it down using matrices. We can draw it in a form of a table, we got before and after, and we can fill it in. So we start with px, after the transformation it becomes 0px and 1, that is fully, py. py on the other hand becomes minus px and 0py. This gives us the transformation matrix, and now we only need some column vectors with px and py, and we are done. So that's essentially what we've done before, only now when we multiply it out, we get a set of two equations as expected. Now notice that there is a number 0 under C4 operation in E irreducible representation. And by the way, please don't confuse E with E. As it turns out, we only need character of our transformation matrix. Character is defined as the sum of diagonal terms from A1 to 1 to A and N. In other words, it's this diagonal, not the other one. So the sum gives us 0. Now there are two C4 rotations. The other is by 270 degrees. Now Px becomes minus Py and Py becomes Px. Different matrices, the same characters. So now it will be a good time for you to pause the video and finish all the other matrices. If you don't feel very comfortable, then use the before and after tables to help you with writing the answers. So the matrices look like that, and indeed we are able to reconstruct the E irreducible representation. Notice that all the matrices for symmetry operations that belong to the same class have the same character. That is always true. Therefore, often I will only show you one example matrix for each class. In fact, that is exactly what we are going to do for TD group. TD group has not only E representation, but also T representations. T representations are only in cubic groups. T stands for triple, so we have three things into converting into one another. So let's do some symmetry operations on these three vectors. Just before we start, I just want to emphasize that we don't need this molecule on this diagram. However, it does help to visualize the symmetry elements and therefore symmetry operations for TD group. That's why I left it here. Let's start with trivial E operation. All three vectors remain unchanged, the character is 3, and that is what we see under E operation for any T representation, because any T representation describes three entities that are linked by symmetry. And I'm sure that you remember from the last video that these three vectors that we perform symmetry operations on are described by T2, not T1 in this case. For the rest of the operations, I'm only going to write the transformation matrix because I don't have enough space. So C3. Now, in this particular case, all the rotations are anticlockwise, so we will learn that the direction of rotation doesn't change the character, so really we can rotate however we want. The character is 0. Next, C2 and S4. Please remember that S4 is made of C4 and reflection in the plane perpendicular to the axis of rotation. So if we pick this C4 rotation axis, then we reflect in XY plane. Therefore, Z vector becomes minus Z. Now, the last class are reflections, sigma Ds. So what are the planes? They cut along the angles which are between the bonds. So here we see three angles, and then there are three angles at the bottom as well. So there are six such angles, so there are six planes. On this diagram, we can see a nice plane between H1 and H3. This plane of rotation just simply cuts the XY plane at 45 degrees from the X axis. X becomes Y, Y becomes X, and Z stays unchanged. So we recreated T2 representation for TD group. So now we know that a character table is called a character table because the entries are characters of matrices. Please recall that A and B representations are made from one by one matrices, which is a number, and therefore the character is also the number. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Bye!